it's great that now with uh, a lot of uh, therapy and uh, just knowledge about it in general, uh, the more we learn about addictions and just mental health in general, that it's obvious it's not just black and white for everybody. Obviously, everyone is an individual, has their own perception, has their own perspective, has everything to do with that one thumbprint of a person, right? And I think that that's really important for people to know that, like, just because you don't fit into one thing doesn't mean you, you can't work on work on it in a different facet. Or, um, like I said, for me, right now, I'm currently uh, taking a six-month break from, from drinking just because being home for four years was not great for me. So I, I needed to, uh, no. to learn how to do that and uh, uh, domesticate myself from the other life that I was living. And now uh, uh, it's great. It's the recalibration. I'm going to... I'm plan on drinking again, having a good time and just, uh, in a more mature facet. And I think that that's uh, something that it's not for everybody, but through me, uh, through my therapist rather and myself, we've been able to figure out, I think how we're going to move forward and we'll see how that goes. Um, but I bring that all up just to say, I'm glad that you said something about how there is that smart therapy or that way. I, I, however you categorize, I didn't know there was a name for it, to be honest. But, yes. Um, smart recovery is another form recovery. of recovery program. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's more focused on like how you moderate use mm -hmm. instead of abstinence only. So yeah. yeah, they're both viable. Yeah. Cause the abstinence thing just didn't work for me. Like this, the, the black and white thing, like, cause obviously uh, for me, I've been able to take time off before too. So it didn't click with me that it needs to be a complete done and maybe it will be later in life, but at this point it's not, I'm, I'm, I'm going to work through this and stuff. So I just like that, that there are more options and people are talking about more options rather than like, you got a drinking problem. You got to go to AA. That's it. And it's like, or you got to go to rehab. That's it. And it's like, eh, that's, that's not, that's not necessarily true. No, no, it's not. And you're right. It doesn't look the same for everybody. I, I have a lot of um, really interesting stories, people that I know from, you know, close friends of mine and even new friends that I just met on tour that are like, you said, taking breaks, um, you know, just trying to recalibrate, you know, how they see things and, um, you know, be more mindful about how they can be involved in their life in, in meaningful ways outside of that, making sure that that's not taking over. Right. Um, I mean, how easy is it when you're just sitting at home for endless, indefinite amount of time, just waiting yeah. to figure out what life is going to have, how life's going to take you in this direction. And I think there's a lot to be said. Thank you for bringing that up about like, it, it probably has its own variability for everybody. It's been a hard time, no matter what it was that you struggled with. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so, um, but yeah, I, I think therapy is wonderful. Um, and, and, uh, we've done a couple of things now with, um, sweet relief musicians fund. Um, mm. they are a really cool program that funds, um, mental health related expenses for like people in the tour community and musicians that are in need. Um, so it's, it's, a um, place. Oh yeah. I mean, I've, I've had some really cool, so I don't know if I told you this, but like the same, uh, year that I graduated with my, my degree in psychotherapy, I was doing my day job, day job, <laughs> psychotherapy. And then we actually, uh, got a record deal. So it was like, now oh, I'm a therapist you musician. A, you had a degree in psychotherapy. I didn't even realize that. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yes, okay. I'm very well versed in, in a lot of that stuff. And I think it's, it's been so rewarding for me to find that other people really have that same idea there's no more like black and white thinking is so um really just sets you at a disadvantage you know right. that there's only two ways to do something um and in, in a lot of cases too for addiction specifically right you talk, talk about people that are, exist within extremes and that's that serves those extremes right but if we Absolutely. start talking about there's healing in the middle ground there's healing in the middle ground right <laughs> try to find the middle ground and then it's and then world's open